Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to have a go at texturing our little bomb arm character from Mario. So we have uh, modelled it in Maya and unwrapped it and I've just put it in and then all I've done off screen was go to edit, bake uh, maps and then bake those off screen. So quite a simple character to do but quite fun to sort of like make it look a little bit like worn and scratched and dented and that sort of thing. So let's have a look through some material we want. So we'll start adding in like our own little details of like dents and scratches as well. So let's just remove this layer, we don't want it. Okay, let's add a paint layer. Height, so I want my eyes to stick out a little bit. Let's turn the symmetry on. Okay, I want to paint our eyes. Let's pick a different brush. Let's go to something like this. And our eyes need to be oh, not like that. So something Yeah, something like that. So you zoom in you see it's actually making it come out a little bit. We can do that a little bit more. Try and neaten it up a little bit. Okay, so the top rim there needs to be the same sort of material, but a different colour. So what did we get? We got a steel rough one there. Again, let's remove that. That should be a more bluey sort of colour. Yeah, something along those lines. What I'm going to do is add all the base materials first and then we'll start adding in all like scuffs and that sort of thing afterwards. Um, okay. What sort of fabric y things have we got? Okay, should we try that and then let's that's a bit better. Then let's remove this. Let's make a little bit more white and then yeah, something like that is better. Okay, what should we do for the feet? Should we get like a leather or something? Let's see. Okay, again, let's try like that. So that's precise. Let's make it quite a bit smaller. So it's that sort of colour, but a little bit brighter. So can we make it a little bit more yellow?
somewhere around there, looks good. Okay, let's do our key. How's that look? Okay. We need another fabric for our parachute. How does that work? If we do Yeah, something like that. that's quite nice. That needs to be white. Right, what do we use for the wick? Because I feel like we should do the same sort of thing for that. So, fabric rough. Okay. Okay. Well, let's make that a little bit lighter something yeah something like that okay so we sort of got like the overall base materials on there that we want to have I want to have a little bit let's turn I tend to like getting a lot of scoffs and things like that on there as well. So let's go back to, oh, we need to do the smoke as well, don't we? So let's do that first. So we need to make that, um, okay, we're going to turn so much off of that. We need to make that uh, transparent first or opaque. So to do that, come up here and we're going to go to alpha blending. So now if I take like a mat and bring that over, I can come to texture settings and add in opacity. And if we go back over, I can bring that right down. Change that color to something like that. And then I can do the same thing a couple of times with some different colors. And let's do a white mask. I'll change this color to like red like that. And then we'll do one more and we'll get like an orange in there as well. That'd be cool. Okay, so let's change that color to like an orange. Let's do a black mask. Yeah, so we've sort of got like a bit of red, a bit of oranges, a bit of grey. Nice. Okay. So now let's start adding in some like scuffs and that sort of thing. 
So what we'll do, let's go back to the main body. And so, it's, and yes, that's ice. In fact, let's just call that ice so we know what it is. So let's find some rust. Where are we? Rust. Let's grab that, bring it up. Let's add a black mask. And then let's add a generator and let's go with like dirt and see how that looks. Okay, let's bring that down a little bit. Let's do that again with a different thing. So let's again add a black mask. Let's add a uh, fill this time. Grab some scratches. And then let's add a few more layers of another black mask. A generator. Let's try some metal edge wear. And we can bring that right down. We don't need all of that. And maybe oh, scroll up to the top first. Let's bring that up here again. Black mask. No, let's not do that one. Let's not much wear again. Bring it down. So yeah. Main body done. Let's try the rim of the head. So let's do the same sort of thing. Let's bring up some rust. Let's add a black mask. A generator. Let's get some metal edge wear in there. We can bring that quite a bit down. We don't want quite as much as that. And let's get some dirt. We can bring it down a little bit. Let's add a fill layer. Sometimes it's just better trial and error picking which ones you sort of like the look of a little bit. Okay. Right, feet. Things are like muddy sort of thing, don't we? So let's. Well, feet. Let's remove that layer. So let's go with like dirt somewhere on here, isn't there? There we go. Let's bring some dirt in. Okay, let's have a black mask, a generator, maybe not quite like that, let's not do that. Let's add black mask, punch we paint on. Yeah, maybe we do that sort of thing instead. So let's Let's get a different brush. Let's go with like a soft. And let's turn the flow down a bit. Yeah, maybe like that. Let's mm, 
Mm, no, it's not looking that good. Right, let's, let's remove that for now. I'll press some else. Let's just add a fill. I click mask. Add fill. Let's just. Some scratches. That looks a bit better. Let's bring that dirt back in again. Let's do. There you go, that's a bit better. Okay, I always like to, when I bring things in, is I normally change the triplane projection and then do this going to physical size. I just think it fits a bit better when I do it that way. Okay, so body feet, everything done there. Let's go over to our key. So I'm just going to save this. So that doesn't crash on me. Okay, so let's go back to our rust. Black mask. Let's get some metal edge wear in there. Let's bring my well down. Add a fill, let's go. That looks better. I think we need a little bit more. Got anything else to add? Yeah, something like that. Okay, the last little bit is to have a go at doing our little parachute. So let's say that's the one we need. Let's add a paint layer. Okay, let's brushes. Okay, we do not need any height. We can turn that off. But we need some color. Let's go to yeah, something like that. Maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah. Okay. So we need to. 
try and bring it something like this. Check on my paint on the underside by accident. Okay, let's get another one. Now the last little bit at the back. Okay, so we've got the perm we want. Let's just add a little bit of wear and tear on our parachute as well, and then we are finished. So let's go to add a full layer of that mask. Let's see how this looks. Okay, it's got a little bit of edge on there. There you go, let's change the colour a bit darker. There we go, it looks a bit better. Okay, let's have a look at rendering. So let's jump over, let's save it. Just to make sure everything's okay, let's go to render. Let's go to render settings, clear background, rotate them around a bit. I hope it doesn't crash. There we go. What sort of lighting do we want? Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to just let that render out. So that's the end of our little project on doing a little Mario Bomon character. Nothing massively complex to make, it's all quite simple shapes, but quite a fun little thing to have a go at doing. Hopefully, you found that useful and interesting. Um, any questions either leave a comment down below or email me at designwithsimon at outlook.com